Hey guys, Liam here. I'm Danny. So you may be wondering what this video is. This is um well, this is the footage of the announcement of Medieval Engineers. The Anybody? footage of the announcement of the trailer for the game that is Medieval, Medieval Engineers. Engineers. Exactly. Um, the reason we're doing this is because we're actually quite excited. It looks pretty damn good. good. And uh, we like space engineers, so uh, yeah, you'll see the footage in the background, what we're seeing. Look, he's placing some walls. That's pretty fucking fancy, isn't it? <laughs> Look at that shit. Um, and some fancy walls. There's some fancy walls. So we're probably going to play this game. The terrain editing's pretty epic as well. Yeah, look at that. It's pretty fancy as shit. It reminds me of the, um, have you seen the uh, demo video for the new Mountain Blade game? Oh uh, yeah, oh yeah. The terrain editing is pretty... Oh, that leads similar. me on to another point, actually. Um, they are doing a lot of mod support for it. I don't know why I sound like a hillbilly there. But yeah, <laughs> a lot of mod support. So just imagine what can be done. They could turn it into Mountain Blade, where you build your own fucking castles. How awesome would that be? Sieges yeah. with like yeah, 100 like, bots. And shit like that. And now you can Pretty see epic. the camp system, which is like ways of converting force to do certain things, like draw bridges and, you know, you can do siege equipment, which is pretty damn cool. I'll be interested There's, to see how they incorporate the, like, energy and... I guess it would be the equivalent of electronics in Space Engineers. Like yeah. how you access terminals to turn things on and stuff. Well, it'd be pretty mm. cool because I think you can actually turn like the windmill. You can actually turn, you know, the kinetic energy to grind up ores as well, which, you know. That'd be pretty that'd be fancy. Idea. Exactly. Imagine like having sawmills like in Skyrim. <laughs> Shit like that, you know, water mills and stuff like that. I don't know if they're adding volumetric water. They talked about it and said it's very complicated to do and it will kill FPS pretty much. Yeah. Same. It's not generally done in a lot of games, is it? Volumetric water is very complicated. Mm, there you go. It's, you a, it's a modded thing. The drawbridge. Yeah, it could probably be done in modding, but it will require. Beastie PC. This game already requires pretty beastie PC. I mean, Space yeah. Engineers lags like shit if, if there's more than like five people on a server all, yeah. all with ships and just shooting yeah. and stuff. It's just. Ah, oh, there's a siege siege engine. That's um just a little catapult, little baby catapult. What do oh, I mean by siege engine? Uh, an engine for like, sieging. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> but okay, <laughs> yeah. whatever. And it's got like tension as well. You can see all the rope in it. Oh, th this this bit's quite interesting because he's actually building one on the fly, and shows you how like you know certain materials can snap together, which pretty damn cool. I wonder whether you have to build from certain pre-designed patterns or whether it's completely. That's, that's what I was thinking, but it looks pretty open, doesn't it? Really, and I've seen some yeah, it does, other videos actually. by by some other people where they show that some of the designs don't really work and you can pretty much do what you want. Like oh, here it's built a trebuchet. Cool. Like, look at that. That's very nice. It's a pretty classic style of trebuchet. And you can see the um, rope mechanics as well with like tension and stuff like that. Have they said whether it's going to have a... Um, it's just going to be free mode when it comes out I guess. I, like uh, yeah, Space I Engineers was at first. Similar. Probably will be multiplayer because they they said they're sharing the same code base as Space Engineers, but they have two separate teams. You have the one that's working on you know Space Engineers and this new team that's working on this, with you know like the head of both games, very right between the two, and they share a lot of the code. So you know <laughs> the games are very similar. <laughs> it made me laugh they're just walking into it. Yeah, just moves it like that. The destruction is pretty good though. Yeah, it does look good. Like, imagine sieging a castle. You break the wall and you're just crawling over all the fucking rubble. Like, that just seems like a badass idea. Yeah, all in all, we're pretty excited. Yeah, 10 out of 10. As you can probably tell. But it's, it's coming soon. Um, yeah, soon. soon is very Oh, another very thing open. Said about is you can put multiple items in one block. So, in Space Engineers, oh, you can only... This looks awesome. Like, imagine digging a tunnel into yeah. your castle. Imagine just sieging someone else's castle, like, fuck their day up. <laughs> just digging underneath. Oh, have you seen Ironclad? We could dig like a hole and then burn pigs underneath. And then the castle <laughs> I haven't would seen collapse. it. Oh, if you see but it, we've, got some, we've got some pretty cool ideas for some series that we'll probably be making on this game when it's released, so stay tuned for that. Yeah, and this is just the gauge how you guys feel about it, but we're excited. I don't know if you can tell. I think they can probably tell. I think they can probably tell. Well, yeah. All right. um, Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. We are the Grumpy Spanner. <laughs> like, favourite, comment, and uh, like some duck a MySpace. Dick. Yeah, like us on MySpace, Bebo, Bebo uh, Badoo. Tinder. Don't forget to scroll to the right on our Tinder um, yep. and our Grinder. <laughs> <laughs> right, bye, guys. Have a Google Plus.